Hey everybody, Eric here with Wildlife Preservation Canada, here to give you another update from the field. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Butler's Garter Snake, so I'll give you a closer view. Uh, so this is another one of our endangered snake species here at Ojibwe Prairie, and uh, we're pretty lucky to have them. Their Ontario distribution is extremely limited. Uh, it's pretty much restricted just to Essex County, where we are now, and Lambton County. Now that's because they really rely on uh, prairie environments and most of their historic range in Ontario has been replaced by agriculture. So they're really clinging on in, uh, in small pockets of prairie like the Ojibwe prairie. So these guys, they're, uh, they're also the smallest species of Thamnophis in Ontario and uh, they can be differentiated from the eastern garter snake which is actually fairly common uh, in Ojibwe. Uh, in a number of ways. They're always going to have a, uh, a dark black to chestnut colored body and they're going to have really bright, really clean uh, dorsal and lateral stripes. So you can see that really clean yellow stripe going down, uh, going down their spine and going down the sides of their bodies. Whereas an eastern garter snake, they're a lot more variable in color. Sometimes the stripes really clean, sometimes it's more blurry, kind of blurs into their belly scales. Uh, and then color-wise, they can range from gray to brown, uh, to red, to orange. Uh, I've seen ones with speckles of blue and green. They're kind of all over the place. Whereas a butler's is always going to look pretty similar to this guy here. However, you may end up with a very clean looking garter snake in the field. So you want to be able to distinguish them. And uh, the way we do that is by counting scale rows. So I'll try and give you a good view of it here, try and get it to focus on these scales. So uh, when we're counting scale rows on the butlers, we start in these belly scales, these ventral scales, and uh, we work our way up to when they change into the lateral scales, more diamond shape. And uh, we count the scales diagonally, upwards on the body, and if that lateral stripe is centered on the third scale row up from the ventral scales, then we can be sure it's a butler's. Whereas a, um, an eastern garter snake, it's kind of going to be centered between the second and third scale rows. This guy, it's third scale row, might spill onto the fourth or, uh, or the second row. So uh, I think I've uh, given this guy uh, enough stress for the day. I'm going to release him back to where I found him. I'm just going to set him down here on the ground, try and give you guys a good view of this. These guys really disappear once they're in the grass. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.